The United States held Murat Kurnaz at Guantanamo Bay detention camp for five years before releasing him without charge. Mr. Kurnaz, have you ever been given an apology or an explanation by the Americans? No, no. Uh, um, they did not, but even I don't think that uh, they are going to apologize for anything. You were arrested in Pakistan in 2001. Why were you there? Here in Germany, I saw a group, it's called Jamaat Tablik. They are helping uh, young people who have uh, problems with drugs or homeless people or who has problems at home. They are origin from Pakistan. They have around the world 80 million members. It's, uh, I think, the, the biggest Islamic group. And they are non-political and uh, they are against war, of course. And uh, they are also hated by Al-Qaeda and Taliban because they are against war. But uh, when I went to Pakistan, I went to, the, to their school of Jamal Tablik. They have each year, I guess, uh, between 30 and 40,000 uh, uh, students or people who was visiting that school each year. I was just one of them. And uh, so when I was uh, captured and turned to the Americans, I was already in a bus close to the airport and uh, I had already my plane ticket in my pocket. I was very close to the airport, so I couldn't understand why and uh, what reason for. And uh, Jamaat Tablik, every, uh, everybody knows they are not uh, interested on the war or they are, they are against uh, the terrorism. So. What were the circumstances of your arrest? When I got arrested, uh, they didn't tell me anything what's going on. They didn't uh, tell me um, that they are looking for terrorists or whatever, they said just we don't, uh, uh, we are going to check your passport. What I did not know at that time was they gave out a bounty of $300 for each person and uh, not under my name but for anyone who is turned over to the Americans as a terrorist, they will receive $300 and $300 is in Pakistan a uh, lot of money. There was not searching for me. Uh, just, uh, when I had my first interrogation by the American government uh, during my detention in Pakistan, they asked me if I would know where Osama bin Laden is. They didn't, they was not interested on me. Afterwards, you were transferred to Kandahar in Afghanistan. What happened there? In Kandahar? Yeah. Uh, in Kandahar was uh, happening uh, all kinds of things, what you can just imagine under torture. And um, uh, on myself, uh, I saw many people got killed under torture in Kandahar. So um, I was uh, one of those who t survived those kind of torture. Uh, on myself, they used uh, electroshocks because I would not sign papers. Uh, I should. I was forced to agree that I'm be a member of Taliban and Al Qaeda, and I said uh, I'm not. Even really, I didn't know at the time what Al Qaeda used to be. I didn't know about Al-Qaeda anything. So when they asked me about Al-Qaeda and Taliban, I said, uh, I'm not a member of them. And they brought me papers, forced me to sign. I refused, and that's why they tortured me by, they forced me, tried me to sign, uh, make me sign by electro, electroshocks. And uh, other, other one, uh, another time they forced me by water treatment, it's called water, water boarding. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's not under water boarding, so another time they hang me on chains, I had chains on my hands and uh, I, I was hanging uh, on the ceiling, they was pulling me uh, on the ceiling with a chain and uh, until my feet used to be over the floor and uh, after a few days I start to pass off, of, of course, because in that situation I could not eat or drink and uh, it was freezing cold, it was during winter time and uh, I had no clothes on, so I was hanging there for many days. When the interrogator came, he, they pulled me back down and uh, he asked me, are you going to sign or not? Every time when I said no, he just made like this and uh, they pulled me back up. What happened to other detainees at Guantanamo? I got uh, waterboarded uh, after I had seen a couple of things, a uh, couple, couple pu uh, people got killed in front of me. So it was not the first or second one. I got, uh, I had so many people got killed, and uh, some of them, they got just uh, kicked on his head until he died, 
uh, and the other one he was hanging on chain until he died. Uh, many things, but uh, when I got waterboarded, of course I was sure I can be the next one. Uh, but uh, as a young man, when I got arrested, at that time I thought, okay, now I'm in, uh, in the hand of the American government. Uh, I'm sure they have justice and uh, uh, so because I had seen the, all the Hollywood movies they had uh, made before and uh, they are always the good ones. An FBI agent was quoted as saying Guantanamo detainees were chained hand and foot in a fetal position on the floor with no chair, food or water for 24 hours or more. Did that take place? They did it uh, with everyone. I, I think with everyone because as soon as when we arrived uh, we had to stay in a, in a special position when we had handcuffs and shackles on and our, our eyes was uh, covered with, uh, with uh, googles so we had to stay in that situation for, for a long time and uh, uh, some people passed out. Were there any underage detainees in Guantanamo? Yeah. Yes. The youngest one was nine years old, the second youngest was 12. And uh, I still can't understand uh, why they get arrested. Do you agree with US officials who say torture works, that it makes people tell the truth? When they tortured me, if I won't be terrorist, I never would agree. Because they are torturing me anyway, so what I have to lose? Uh, they are torturing me. Some people on the torture told them a couple of things. But uh, I don't know if it was the truth or a lie. But many people are they lying because if they torture, they're asking uh, special questions. So, and uh, they can just answer yes or no. And that's why in the most of the situation, it's, it's a lie. How did the system of rewards and punishments work there? Yes, some, some of us got more food, some of us uh, less. But uh, it was, uh, independent. depends. Uh, which camp you are. Right. In Guantanamo are existing uh, like uh, eight kind of camps and uh, except one, all, all other camps you get less food and uh, one, one camp, I myself call it uh, Camp Hollywood because it's made for the journalists just uh, when the journalists people are coming they can play football maybe the first time inside five years but they say this is every day the same thing. They can play football, they can play volleyball, and that's true. There are the, a place for volleyball and basketball. Uh, and uh, when the journalists are filming, they can, they can play that. I have to say, uh, I'm a person who loves uh, the animals, okay? Uh, and in Guantanamo are many kind of animals uh, which I have never seen in my life except on the TV. So when I, get, uh, when I got uh, to Guantanamo, so I had seen the uh, iguanas. I was hiding a piece of my bread when, because of the iguanas. They were coming, uh, they are very smart animals, they coming all at the same time to the fence and uh, I was feeding them. When I got, uh, uh, when they saw it, the guards, I got punished by 30, 30 days by isolation in the darkness because I was feeding uh, uh, animals. Was there a feeling that the camp was hostile to Muslims? Of course, it was. Uh, uh, it was like that because after 11 September, they, they were most Americans was uh, uh, they were thinking that ter uh, Muslims are terrorists, but uh, of course that's not true. Uh, Islam is there to to fight against the terrorists and uh, not to be a terrorist. Were you told anything about your legal status at Guantanamo? We was not authorized to ask any kind of questions. When we asked questions, uh, we got, uh, we got uh, punishment for it. And uh, all they said just, uh, we are asking the questions, not you. I never did know the first uh, three years, I didn't know even that my family knows that I'm alive. And uh, I even did, know, uh, did not know that my family does uh, know that I'm uh, in Guantanamo. I didn't know anything. So, uh, when I got arrested, they never told me anything. And we, we are not authorized, we were not authorized to watch the news. There was no any TV, of course, no newspapers, no any kind of news. And the guards who was working inside the camp, they were not authorized to talk with us. 
even I didn't know that I'm, I got to be uh, shown as an innocent person by American government. I didn't know about it uh, after, uh, until I got uh, released or shortly before I got released. So uh, I thought just, may I will stay there for all my life. Tell us about your sports career before you were arrested. When I was 19, I was in a very good shape because I started to train martial arts uh, since I was seven years old. And uh, I was doing it uh, almost uh, professionally. And uh, so when I got arrested, of course, I could not train like before in my life. Uh, but even in Guantanamo, I did train martial arts uh, by myself. Of course, I got punished every time again for it because I was training martial arts. It was uh, forbidden. Even to do push-ups, it was forbidden. Yeah, I got also punished for pu doing push-ups. Murat Kunas, thank you for speaking with RT.